were just in carry for randomly. This is the week up to Christmas, so you're going to get all sorts from this from us in this weekend vlog. Say hi. Hi. It's two. What is it? Two days before Christmas. We're on the twenty. No, it's three days before Christmas. Something like that. Anyway, now, just look at this. This is something we've just seen. It made me chuckle. All right, it's a cinnamon drink, and read what it's called. There you go. That's today's little nugget for you. Carryfield just keeps on giving. Okay, so you need to drink responsibly. <laughs> it's the run up to Christmas, so no Happy Friday because I don't even know what day it is. The good looking one's there. And uh, as if we're not going to be eating enough turkey, we're having turkey for tea. The reason I've got the camera out is because I'm not sure if we've covered this before. I think we have. No, we have. Yeah, basically uh, turkey risotto which is great. Bacon bits are in frying off and Helen's just sorting some... Leeks, Thank you. garlic. Can you see that every so often I have a problem and I've just... Mm. Yeah, so do I. Old age, older age, and that. Uh, run up to Christmas, we we'll skipped a lot of it because... I've just rubbed it in my hair. <laughs> I didn't realise I've got it all on my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Hello. I've just put risotto in my hair. <laughs> oh dear. It's not, it's nearly ready, but not quite. I need, that water needs to uh, absorb. Water all? Well, oh. it, it's got two lots of caldo in it. I did use two, and it's got oh, a bit okay. of water in it. Oh, you didn't use the right now? Yeah. I used the one that were at the front, and then I might put a bit of cream cheese in it, or I might put a bit of butter in it. Dead easy to make. <laughs> if, you, if you do it right, like I did for my mum, it's she just Dead easy it. to make if you know what you're doing. But if you don't know what you're doing, it's not easy to make. So guess what? Dead easy to make. Well, for, her, for her, yeah. She's, and me. She's good. I, I, listen, speak to my mother. I best not say mother because she doesn't like being called mother. Hi, Mum. Happy Friday. It's Christmas Eve. No, it's Eve. not. <laughs> Christmas Eve. Eve, you didn't let me finish. Does anybody else feel like it's Christmas Eve? Yeah. But it's not. No, well, I'm glad it's not because we've not done the prep for Christmas dinner. The turkey's in the fridge, though. I've got it out of the freezer. It's here, look. Oh, we didn't get the butter. I think we've got enough butter. There it is, look. Mid to end of December and we're mid-twenties. It's Well, it's still what we've just been out putting some uh, solar lights up and the mosquitoes are still about. So yeah, we've both been bit while we were outside. Yeah. Me here. You found one on your own, didn't you? I did, yeah. Tomorrow, which... It's Christmas Eve. Oh, we might do a bit of film of prepping the Christmas dinner. What? Is that what you want to say? My mum says, we, one of the reasons we started doing these is so our parents, back in England at the time, uh, could basically keep in touch and see what we're up to. And my mum says that she likes it because me and you was always bouncing off each oh. other, but not. That was just the bin. Oh, I thought it was a kitten it's getting in the bin again. I think the kitten's killed up on the sofa. Christmas Eve, bit of prep. Look at the workers working. Yeah, all Andy's been doing is on his phone. He's not been working. Merry Christmas. Pretty boy's gone home today for it's Christmas Eve. We're at the Oasis and we've got quite a few people here, so I'm just gonna pan around. Everybody knows him. Hello. Everybody knows her. Hello. Everybody knows them. My mum. Ah, so Tony, Cheryl, also, which we only met earlier this week, a lot of the music's been given to us by Tony, another Tony, Soundgrounder. So those of you like Laura, Laura, Lorna, Lorna, and others that say, what's this music again? It's Tony that does it. Say hi to Tony. Hi, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> and his good lady while well, it and then we've got some other guys here they're not looking they're not paying attention there you go look oh you're so That's serious oh wait 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 <laughs>
We are in the Star of India. We've had a great night at the Oasis. Uh, we've got Julie, Tony Soundgrounder, the chef, Helen, Jessica, Cheryl, Hi Bob and Tony. Hi guys. What I want to say is, right now, subscribing is... doesn't cost you work. <laughs> How many times are you going to have to cut this? Oh dear. <laughs> Go on, start again, Andy. Come on. I might put this yeah, in because yeah. it's just us. <laughs> yeah, but you're yeah. Now you see how we are when we do this. Yeah, hang, yeah. hang on. Go on, Bob. Yeah, yeah, go me, on. Really. Go on. Tell the truth. You love me, really. <laughs> Give a kiss. Give a kiss. No, no bugger off. Give a kiss. No, Give a kiss. It's not oh, it's not Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> I'm <to> him. <laughs> I want to say, actually, thank you to this guy here. Uh, this guy here is Tony. Tony with an I, not Tony with a Y. Not that Tony. Not me. It's uh, running out of battery. Tony with a Y. Uh, oh, the problem. Tony is the guy that's given us lots of music for the last two years. One of the first few subscribers we've ever had, and I've had too much beer, so I'm going. Thank you very much, Tony. Thank you, and Julie as well, well actually. Thank, thank, thank thank don't forget, yeah. oh, no, like, too, subscribe, <laughs> and ring that bell. <laughs> oh, good, Tony. No, I just want to say thank you to you as well for inviting us now, because we do feel like one of the family. We don't bloody We've watched it. you for three years. <laughs> <laughs> We've watched you for three years, and you've given an unbiased approach to, to your reviews in, in restaurants and to the local area, and it's brilliant to watch. It really feels really good, sat at home, miles away in, in shivering, freezing England, watching this, and it's great. So thank you very much for inviting us, that's all right. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. And I just want to say, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> and a Happy New Year. Christmas Eve, the turkey is defrosted. Yeah. Helen has put butter chunks of butter under the skin as you will see there and wrapping it in streaky bacon i wasn't going to film anything this morning i you know, weren't going to bother but the, the dogs are going nuts so the cat's ragging the bag with the presents in and these two are ragging each other because they're idiots look at them they just want to play because it's christmas what are you doing fin fin what you got there you plonker He's, he's got his, he's got his out. Yes, he has. Oh, <laughs> Alfie lives on. What is it, Finn? Good boy, Finn. Go on, get it. Well done. Good boy. Merry Christmas. Most so, of the prep was done yesterday by Helen and Bob for the veggies. So the turkey's cooked. It there. did look, it did look nicer than this, but we've just demolished all the bacon off of it. Yeah, we it was covered in bacon, um, but we've eaten that. And it's it, lovely and moist. Doesn't look pretty. That's the juice from all the butter that was under the skin. And the juice that's come out of the turkey. And also there was an onion and a lemon inside the turkey. Just so Christmas dinner, Yorkshire puddings, yes or no? <laughs> that's a bit of a controversial one, that. It always was, especially yeah. your mum. My mum always said no. And I always said Yorkshire yes. Christmas dinner. And I always said yes. So, and I don't like Yorkshire puddings. We've got some trips coming up. Francesca and Pretty Boy are going to... And when are you going? Uh, second of a, a GN... Yeah, that's their first proper trip away. And then in February, myself and the cook, first time ever, we're going to... Venice, before it sinks. In March, we're going to Valencia, myself and the cook. She got, got us a trip to Valencia again. We're going to see the fires. Love it. Where are we going in May, Bobby? Uh, we're going to a place called Cuenca. I'll have to tackle a which is Which has got hanging houses. In the cliff. Hanging over the cliffs, over the cliff edge. And it's, they're all different colours and it's beautiful. And then we're going to Thailand. Oh yeah, and then we're going to Thailand. That's the pate. Yeah, but that don't look very nice like that, but it's all pull out when I take it out and cut it. This here, I got this for Francesca. But she likes cooking, she loves dumplings, so DIY dumpling kit. That is actually from Farmac. World famous gravy, or it will be. It, I mean, it's not like a lot of people make gravy by boiling bones and God knows whatever. I just stick a load of 
pre-made stuff in it. Onion powder. Yeah. What I hate is crumbling oxo, so, so you can do them. Okay. I've put, I put endos in it as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's a given. I always put a bit of ketchup in there as well. Just squirt the ketchup. Pate's done. Right, here's a tip for you. And I didn't know this until maybe a year or so ago. Oxo cubes, yeah? What you're actually supposed to do, apparently, if you think about it, the Oxo cube isn't a full cube. It's got the little indentations going around it. And what you're supposed to do, like Helen says, it doesn't work on these because they're too hard, is you squash them into that to turn it into a pillow. Best tasting tasters for us, we like them done in that. Yeah, it's just uh, lard, really. I've done, them in, I've done them in all sorts in the past. They're nice with beef cooking as well. Yeah, that's not so easy to get rid of. No, but I do think that you pay a fortune for, do, uh, for goose and duck fat, and to, for, for me, I can't say that it makes my potatoes taste any better than they do, no. so it's not worth spending the money on them. Pate, by the way. Look at this. This is really juicy. The word is moist. I know. Yeah, last night was a good night at all. Anyway, yes, the afternoon. <coughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it. Helen and Bob are cooking again. We've already had Christmas dinner. We've not managed dessert yet. Me and, just... me and my dad are still stuffed. Andy and Francesca are now hungry again. You may notice Maddie's not here. She'll be here tomorrow. So the prep is now. So in the oven, there's some sausage rolls. Helen's doing some cheese and caramelised red onion filo pastry parcels and also <laughs> tomorrow we're having some volivants which yes the cases are shop bought we're just cooling down some custard ready to put on the trifle helen's made the tartlets there we go you can just see them there i bet you'll leave them door and look at these another day another dollar and is this going to be another flat battery on the gopro before we're even ready Probably. Happy Boxing Day. Happy Boxing Day. Did you know where the name Boxing Day came from? Uh, I think it's because, is it because it's St Stephen's Day actually? I ain't got okay. a frigging clue, I just thought I'd ask. I think, it, is it not because you put everything in boxes after Christmas? Oh, put in the comments. Volivants with prawns and mayonnaise I'm guessing with a little bit of uh, pimento dulce? thing? Yeah, uh, well it's it's Paprika. actually, yeah, it is uh, mayonnaise basically, but I put a bit of ketchup in it as well to make it more like into a... Thousand dish. Island dressing is what it's like. We've started. There's some of the homemade patty that's left. We've got quite a selection of cheeses. Roll call. Leave us a comment and tell us where you are watching from while you're watching this. And uh, sit back and relax and have a cup of tea. I hope you got everything that you wanted for Christmas, if that's what you celebrate. If not, oh well, maybe you didn't. Do you know what I got for Christmas? Fat. Or fatter. Her fault. Doing it a bit old school. We took the carcass for the turkey. It's been boiling in water for, for an hour, two hours, maybe more. That's going to make us some turkey stock. Doesn't necessarily look very pretty, but that'll be packed with flavour. Helen has opened and cut the you Christmas don't need a spoon. If this you look in the back catalogue, she was feeding it with booze and everything else, and here we go. That, that is a tiny bit of it. I'm not a fan of dried fruits, shall we say. For me, no and for him as well. Alvaro, for me, no. No. I actually think it's really nice. Where are we? We're at Castellon. We've just crossed the border into Castellon, which is still part of Valencia, but it's um, a separate province. province. Yeah, we're not no longer in the province of Alicante or in the province of Valencia. We're in the province of Castellon, but we're still in the Comunidad Valenciana, so we're still in the Valencian community. And we're going to visit Maddie. Maddie came up yesterday, which was Boxing Day. Down. She. Oh, she came down, yeah, we're south, she's north. Um, her and Alex came down yesterday and um, opened the presents and we had a buffet and everything and they played Monopoly in the evening and, and this morning we've got 
don't know if you can see. A load of furniture that we're taking up to Maddie's new apartment up there in San Mantelporo. My dad's in the car with Maddie and Alex in front. Um, Isn't it good as she knows what I was thinking? I can't flip my camera around to show you, but we're following Maddie in her little car and my dad's in there. He's been he's been had his earphones in all the way watching YouTube videos. I think he says he's watched about 12 of them. <laughs> so that's him caught up and we're going for we've been invited for food by Alex's grand um, Yeah, Alex's grandparents. <laughs> Alex's grandparents live on a little small holding in the country, from what I understand, we've never been, and they've invited us for dinner, so it's, and I think there are going to be quite a few people there, so it's going to be a proper Spanish get-together, which will be different, whether we get to film any of it or not, don't know, depends how comfortable they are with that, and then Maddie wants to take us after dinner, so it's going to be dark, um, to one or two places, one of them's Penny Scholar, but I don't know whether we'll be going there or the other place. They're both walled cities, so they both look really pretty. And I think, uh, although it won't be daylight by then, I wouldn't have thought it. I'm sure that with the Christmas lights and everything, they'll be very pretty. So we'll definitely film some of that. This is the link to Alex's grandma's and granddad's place. As you can see, it's um, a little bit rural. We're going down this lane here, but somebody's cashing in. So this is where we are. <laughs> so they've got like an orchard and we'll show you in a little bit how we're having this food cut because that's brilliant this ground is huge it's massive maddie's just saying they cook they use that for cooking um like a rice dish in the oven and bread homemade bread and everything Right. It's a baby, tiny, tiny, tiny pomegranates. Look how little they are. We're coming to have a look at the barbecue. Mm Only if they were found by pigs or dogs. We're in, is it? Morilla. El Morilla. Morilla. M O R E L L A. Morilla in Castillon. It's a pretty village, it's dark, so we can't actually see. What we could in the day? Yeah. But it's lit up, so that's quite nice as well. We've just checked our tickets for the Christmas lottery, and as we thought, we've won 140 euros. We spent nearly 200, no, like. We, but at least we got some money back, so we've bought another one for the That'll lottery that's drawn on the 6th of January. But it's really pretty here.
we've been in another shop full yeah. of food and good stuff. Yeah, we're just saying this actually reminds us of Santiago de Compostela, but not great. Apparently this is a soap shop. Oh my word. It's an aroma shop, not a soap shop, and you can smell everything. It reminds us of the perfume museum in Granada. So these come in in ornate gift boxes, but they are 39 euros each. Give you an idea on the size, there's my hand. But well, you can get smaller sizes for yes. less price, they're, for example, they're 14. <coughs> and for every smell that there is, they've got soaps, they've got ohm, uh, uh, oh, aromatic That's fingers. That's like rose, a rosy yeah. smell. Perfumes and sprays and all sorts. I'm not sure if we mentioned this, but actually we've seen signs for the Santiago, so the Camino uh, de Santiago, so people will be coming from this area and other places and heading to Santiago de Compostela doing the, uh, the Camino. And if you want to see the video we did on Santiago de Compostela earlier this year, have a look in the back catalogue. Yeah, not, not this guy here. No, no yeah, this, don't this, film me, I entered the shave Yeah, this, this is San Juan del Moro where, where Maddie now lives. So we're in the in the main square, I think. And you see the three kings, they're actually letter boxes for the kids to post their Christmas wishes in. Like we said, our kids send a letter to Santa. Don't know what day it is. Um, Thursday, the 29th. We've been back to work today, so we should know what day it is. On the subject of which, We've had some big, some some of you lot come to see us. Yeah. Jason and Claire. Very nice to meet you. And especially Cos. Shay, look at this. Look what they brought us. You might think that it's wine, but it's not. Actually, it's the equivalent to wine for food for Helen. It's Hendo's, a four box. It's like getting a best four pack. Best right? Christmas present ever. <coughs> I'm going to see to my curry. And the Christmas week carries on. And well, I'm not well, sure whether this might be the last bit of this video. This is the last remnant. Before we Christmas move on dinner. to the next one. Yes. So this is probably quite apt that this might be the last part of this video. And We've still got a bit of trifle left and a bit of cheesecake, but that's it. So don't forget, like, subscribe, ring that bell, and you'll ding, see ding. future ones from us, which will cover all sorts of random but have a quick look i've not done this for years but for a lot of people it's the obligatory turkey curry but that is coriander there's the turkey and that's going to be lush tonight in fact i think i'm going to turn it off and just leave it now how helen's done it is basically cooked the onions the peppers the garlic in the fruits and the coconut milk and the curry, the curry spices, paste, and things like that. Uh, let them cook down for a little bit before she's added the turkey, and that's been in there for turkey's been in there for maybe half an hour, an hour, so it doesn't break down too much. And then she just chucks some coriander in, and it's it a bit warm. So, thank you. Happy New Year! Yes, that'll be tomorrow's vlog. Well, maybe start a New Year's Eve. Well, yeah, but that's day after tomorrow. Yeah, which will be in about next year, but time you see this. I would think I'm a bit year after where Andy goes. <laughs> I might get used to it. <laughs>